Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, faith versus logic. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am ox old, shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I have a surety bear a child, which I am old? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee, and according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Genesis 18, 12 through 14. A question that one have to ask themselves. What comes first, faith or logic? By logic we mean, as human beings, we have the ability to reason. Something has to make sense for it to be logical. Something has to make sense for it to be believable. Thomas said, except I see him, then I won't believe. Being logical is a good thing. We go to school and we learn to think logically. In society, it is socially accepted for us all to be logical thinking individuals. But then as believers, we are called to have something which is far above logics. I like to define faith in my own words as madness. Yes, madness. When we talk about crossing the Red Sea, that's madness. When we talk about the sun standing still, that's madness. When we talk about turning water into wine, that's madness. Yes, that's what faith is. Faith is stepping out of what seems intellectually sound and believing in something that simply can't be explained. Jesus said, blessed are those who see it not, but still believe. The scripture reminds us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. This beautiful story of Abraham, the father of faith, illustrates what it means to trust God when something is not logical. See, God made a promise to Abraham when he was 75, but then 12 years later, the promise was still not fulfilled. Abraham, by that time, had gotten a son, but this was not the son that God promised him. It was not until Abraham was a hundred years old that he received the son that God promised. Now, let's think of this logically. The <laughs> fact that Abraham was still able to get a child at 87, it means he was still able to Netflix and chill. But God waited until he was a hundred. God sometimes waits until our backs are against the wall waits until the situation becomes impossible to show that he's a God who can make the impossibilities possible. Abraham knew that he still got some strength, but God waited until his body was fully dead. I speak to somebody out there today who is faced with an impossibility. Let me remind you that the God that you serve is the one who's not bound by the laws of logics. He's the one who spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Trust God even when everything around you is telling you it won't work. And somebody tells you that trusting God is madness. You can respond by saying yes, but I also call it faith. Quote of the day, God is not bound by the laws of logics. As you go today, child of God, go knowing that there isn't anything that's too hard for the Lord. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.